Small ruminant project has been introduced in the northern region to improve food security. Under the project, beneficiary farmers were trained on improved breeding techniques to enhance the quality of breeds. Livestock farmers sell their ruminant to raise money for the upkeep of the family, but the typical indigenous livestock bred by farmers takes longer time to grow, hence attracting lower prices. The situation is compounded as animal breeding experts say between 40 to 70 percent of deaths recorded in animals can be attributed to inbreeding practices. According to the expert, most inbred animals are prone to diseases under a large-scale production in the region. A breeding scientist with the Animal Research Institute of Center for Scientific and Industrial Research, Bernard Artu Hagan, had called on livestock farmers in the region to disease from inbreeding. We encourage local farmers to dis, uh, stop inbreeding. By inbreeding, they feel, oh, animals can be crossed anyhow. Uh, animals of the same relation, that's a, a, a father can cross its daughter. Mm. When you do that, you suppress the growth and other good traits of the animals. So we feel local farmers should depart from it. Whenever you need a breeding animal, animals that you want to uh, you want to multiply and use as a business, just go to a recognized breeding farm, buy them, and also follow well drawn up breeding program so that you avoid the mating of uh, seps. Seps, I mean siblings. Mm. Inbreeding, inbreeding is, has adverse effect to the performance of the animals. Once animals are inbred, they are susceptible to a lot of diseases because some diseases are linked to genes. So by inbred, it simply means animals have the same genes running through their family. Mm. And when these genes, one of them is susceptible, it tells you that most of them will also be what? Susceptible. And the animal will always be going down with diseases. He further called for the establishment of a model farm to train farmers to enhance their livestock production in the region. You know, sensitization and a lot of capacity building. Mm. We're working currently with uh, 12 multiplier farmers and about 282 women farmers. We go to them, train them, tell them good practices. Occasionally, we bring them even to the breeding station here in Yangpala Animal Research to look at good practices. They come and tell you, wow, your animals are doing well, your animals are big. So they go and what? Practice these things. So when we have these model farms, they could serve as a springboard for other farmers to adapt the good practices that are being carried out. And two, UDS is just our neighbor here. They bring a lot of students for attachment and educational tour, and they see practically what they are being taught in class, being implemented in their environment. Atu Hagan appealed to livestock farmers in the region to see animal rearing as a business to enhance their income in the dry season. From Tolong, Noah Nash, for Vasa One News.